Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I would like to capture an image of an object that I haven't captured for a long time. Those of you who have been following my channel for a long time know that usually I do not capture images of the moon or of planets. But tonight I would like to capture one of these objects. So usually I'm capturing images of deep scale objects, including galaxies, nebulae, star clusters or comets. But usually I do not capture those planets or the moon. But tonight I would like to capture one of these objects. Actually, I've planned to capture an image of the moon tonight. In order to capture this image of the moon tonight, I have modified my equipment a bit in order to achieve better results. Because as you know, my setup is suitable for capturing images of galaxies and nebulae because therefore the focal length is very suitable. So this telescope has a focal length of around 750 millimeters, which is great for capturing images of galaxies or for nebulae, but for planets or the moon, it's not that suitable. Therefore, I have decided to change the equipment a bit in order to make it suitable for capturing images of the moon. So I have replaced the camera, I have replaced um, the filters, but I'm planning to introduce the entire equipment later on. First of all, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it, and all products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But now I would like to start. So as I have mentioned, tonight I'm planning to capture the moon. So tonight there will be a full moon, so nearly a full moon, so I really hope that I can capture amazing results of the moon tonight. So the plan is to capture a few videos of the moon and then I'm planning to stack these images later on. When planning to capture images of the moon or of planets, it's very important to capture long videos because then later on we can stack these images in order to only use the frames of the video where the seeing was the best. So I'm planning to capture multiple videos and then I'm planning to stack them in order to only use the frames where the seeing was the best. I really hope that the seeing will be quite good tonight but now I'd like to introduce the equipment to you. Most probably you already know the mount, so this is the mount that I'm almost using for astrophotography. It's the HEQ5 Pro go-to mount. The telescope I would like to use for tonight is the Skywatcher 150-750 PDS Newtonian telescope. On the top of the telescope, I do have my guide scope. It's a 60 millimeter guide scope. Tonight I will not use the guide scope because I have attached my guiding camera to the main telescope because I would like to use that one for tonight. Furthermore, for controlling the entire deep sky astrophotography setup, I'd like to use the CWO ASI Air Pro, so this helps me to control the entire setup. So for tonight's astrophotography session, I'm planning to use the CWO ASI 120mm mini mono guiding cam. I have decided to use this camera for tonight's astrophotography session because it has a very small sensor which is very helpful for capturing images of planets or of the moon. So this is everything I would like to mention so far. So now we have to wait until it's dark enough and then we can start doing the polar alignment process and then we can start aligning the telescope towards the moon and I really hope that we'll be able to capture some amazing images of the moon tonight. So wish me luck and we'll see us later. Last night I was able to capture this video of the moon. Due to the small sensor of the camera I was able to achieve a relatively high magnification which allowed me to capture some amazing details. Although it was a bit windy many details are still visible. Usually I use this camera as a guiding camera in combination with my guide scope. However I also like to use this camera for imaging planets or the moon. If this video was interesting and helpful to you I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.